This is Brian Putt. Hey, this is a short video on demonstrating the binomial distribution. Let's assume that I had a 10 things and each has a probability of success of 0.8. Using SIP math, which I've already initialized this model, I can define a binomial distribution based on the number of trials tab and the probability. So in this particular trial, it came up with 10 things. Let's have 10 things here. And here I've got uniform distributions. And so here I've got a formula that says if this random number is less than the 0.8, give me a 1, otherwise give me a 0. So now what I want to do is sum up these binomials. So I'm going to say equal sum offset this number, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma, and I want that many rows, comma, 1. And now let's look at some different trials here. Let's see if this works. Okay, there's 8 and 7. Now, I wouldn't expect on each trial to be the same. What we're expecting is that the distributions of these two variables will be the same. So we'll go to SIP math. We'll define an output as a binomial distribution. And we'll define this. SIP math is define an output as sum of events. We'll graph each of these. And we can see that these two graphs appear to be identical. In fact, what I can do here is I can copy that graph and stick it over here on top of this one. And it's just a little slight differences. And if I change this to a 7, let's say they both change. If I change this to a 0.5, which would be flipping the coin, uh, they're both the same. So that's how the binomial distribution works. It's a real easy to get number of trials. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about SIP math, I suggest you visit probabilitymanagement.org. They have a wonderful website with all kinds of tools there uh, shown down here who they are. You can download models and there's tools down here to include the SIP math toolbar itself. You might read also read The Flaw of Averages by Sam Savage. And please visit my YouTube channel I have over 80 videos that cover a wide range of topics to include uses of the SIP math tools, how to use the icons, cost and schedule risk analysis, portfolio analysis, value of information, lots of videos on that, and some mind testers. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.